What are you still doing here? You don't have any feelings for him. You just see him as another bank account to live off. That was the old me, Debbie. You have no idea what that man's done for us. <sighs> Paid off your credit cards. Noah thinks he's his dad. Got a surprise coming there, then. Look, well, you can't just come along and break up a family because you found someone to show you a good time. Why not? You were happy enough to break up ours, weren't you? Well, go on, then. You've wanted to since the minute I walked in. Listen, Debbie Love, I've got a bit of money. Oh, here we go. I'm not trying to buy you off. I just help tide you over. I run my own business now. Got my own money, thanks. Yeah? Doing what? Don't pretend like you care. Look, when the honeymoon's over, I'll come and see you. I'll take you away for a bit and, and then we can get to know each other again. Well, you don't know the first thing about me. Oh, come on, Debbie. We've always had a bond. Well, now you've got a granddaughter and all. What? Sarah. She's four. Andy Sugden's her dad. My God. We have got some catching up to do. Michael doesn't exactly know that I've got you. Oh. And now you've got another on the way. He's told you. Said it's the only reason he's staying with you. Look, Debbie, I'm going to tell him all about you, right, but just not yet. Please let me have today. It's not getting through, is it? This wedding isn't going to happen. Yeah, well, that's up to him, isn't it? You two are finished. Deal with it. Where are you going? I'm going to see Michael. Well, you might not still want him when you wear this. I suspected something all along. That he might be seeing someone. How could I know? But I carried on with the dress fittings, choosing the flowers, because I knew that no matter who she was, he'd end up coming back to me. Yeah? But for how long? The second I told him I was pregnant, he never gave you another thought. You lied to him. I don't care about what happened between you and him. He's marrying me, right? I'm getting my dream wedding. House, joint account, perfect life, everything. Money. That is all it's ever been with you. This is going ahead, right? And there is so all that you can do about it. Wait! Mum! against that, eh? Well, I was just a kid. It's not like it was planned or anything. Like this baby, you mean? You know, I'm really not sure I can handle this. Excuse me. Where are you going? Mike! Okay. Maybe we should just go. Can't. Debbie. Be careful what you wish for. I've been thinking about Mum for ages, wanting to see her tell that I've met someone. Now I have. Mummy, can you play cards with me? <gasps> Not now, no, I'm busy. Come on, love. Grandma's a demon at top trumps. I thought we'd be toasting our marriage at the wedding reception by now. Me too. I was 13. Kim was no more ready to be a dad than he is now. Can't have been easy for you. I had her adopted, and then she found me again about six years ago. We tried to make up for lost time, but... This is such a mess. So was it serious? I turned up, didn't I? Did you love her? 
Why did I ask that? Not in the way I love you. Oh, not enough to stay faithful, though, eh? What happened had nothing to do with you and me. Well, it's hardly done wonders for our wedding day, has it? <sighs> you know I still love you. You still want this to go ahead? Do you? I don't know. Maybe we both need time. Michael, to... listen to me. You are by a million miles the best thing that's <clears> ever <throat> happened to me. The only good thing, apart from my kids. Noah's lost his dad. I don't want him to lose another. Let's start afresh. I want us to make our vows, and I want us to stick to him, both of us. Let's get married. That's what we came here for. I am so sorry about the delay, but the good news is we're on, and we're ready now. I could get my head around it if it was someone that loved him. I could walk away. But she's just going to bleed him for every penny and move on. That's what she does. She's trapping him into this. Lying to him, she's pregnant. Desperate, isn't she? Saw him as her last chance. She's not going to let that slip away without a fight. Neither am I. She messed your life up and she messed up mine. That's enough. This stops now. No baby. Look, I can see why you say the first clue about her, have you, mate? She told you that she was pregnant. Just as she sussed that you were gonna leave her. Yeah. And she's forgiven you for your affair with her own daughter. We all deserve a second chance. Does that seem a bit desperate? The marriage is going ahead. Forget you, Debbie. I don't regret a minute of the time that we spent together. My future's for charity. Surely you can say that. Right, we're all set. Do you have no pride at all? Debbie, love, you gave it your best shot and it didn't work out. Now, this time tomorrow, me and my husband are going to be on a beach in Cape Town and I'll be thinking of you. Now, safe journey home. You know you'll be a third. Rich bloke away. First two are dead. Don't listen to him. Noah's dad. Three million in the bank. Suicide, they reckon. No debts you wouldn't sink to, Then there was Tom King. Worth even more, I think. I wasn't even there when he died. And now there's you. Don't rate your chances of making 40, mate. Charity. I'm only going to ask you this once, and I want the truth. Are you really pregnant? Oh, my God. Listen to me, we could start trying now for our own little family, just like we always wanted. Do you honestly think there's the slightest chance of us getting married now? Mike! Everyone, I'm sorry to waste your time. There's not going to be a wedding. Irreconcilable differences. Mike, listen to me. Feel free to carry on to the reception and drink yourself senseless. No, wait, please! You told him about the baby. Someone had to. Shoot. Scheming little cow. I didn't even need to tell you that she used to be a prostitute. 